Like always, doing some gathering can help you clear this quest successfully. Here's another edited map I made. The most important ones in my opinion would be Pickaxes in Area 3 and 5 Bug Nets in Area 8 Max Potions in Area 3 Demon Drugs in Area 3 Potions in Area 4 Mega Potions in Areas 10 and 11 And a Shock Trap in Area 11 you can, of course, feel free to gather for anything else you may find helpful, such as the map and paintballs in Area 2, or whetstones, etc. There should be a link in the description to this image, as well as a couple of guides not made by me that go into more depth if that's helpful. I heard a mailing get alerted, so I'm going to take them out first. Our strategy for this one is as the instructor says, to hit this shell with our water longsword. Using a water weapon against Terra's shell isn't an awful idea. It's pretty effective even. Well, as long as you have ESP or high enough sharpness, I guess. Sword and shield works pretty well because of that. You should know by now, but just in case, bouncing does not reduce the amount of damage you deal, but it will damage your sharpness twice as much. Here's the first shell break, now he's going to run away and find another. At this point, having a paintball or a psycho serum would be pretty nice. It's worth considering. I lose him for a minute. Remember that paintballs are in area 2 and psycho serum is in area 4. If you're having some trouble, consider referring to my other Terra Shogun Scimitar video. It's in the cards now. Whoops, I didn't mean to go back in. Let's get him away from the area transition. That was dumb of me. That move is really annoying.
This fight in general can be extremely annoying, very difficult to avoid attacks, and a lot of time-wasting mechanics like climbing and digging. Like I said, time wasting. Second shell broken. He'll now go without it and will take a ton of damage to his exposed back. When he's lost his shell, he'll sometimes do this where he burrows and then comes up right away. Pog. Rolling through his attacks is sometimes necessary. You should always try to roll through attacks when you have no other option. I don't care if you still get hit, it's just the correct choice at that time. Keep trying and eventually you'll start doing it successfully, and eventually you'll be more comfortable and more confident in doing it. Don't give up. And there we go. Terror can be very difficult to work around, but go in with a strategy and play as smart as you can and you'll come out on top.